Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at stampabub.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Ooh, I tried to get on a couple minutes early, but Facebook was doing some weird things where you know how if you go to type in um, just a comment, it'll let you put the colored stuff in the background. You can have balloons or you can have fire or whatever. It wouldn't let me get away from that when I was trying to type in Facebook Live January 6, 2019, which is what I always put in there. And I thought, my gosh, what happens if the balloons are like blocking out the middle of my screen? So I kept restarting and then I decided not to have a title. <laughs> you never know what Facebook Live is going to do to you. So that's why I usually get on early and practice. But I didn't do that tonight, so that's what I get, right? Hi, Arliss. Hi, Kathy. Welcome, you guys. Carol, good to see you. Carol was a big winner today for my team meeting. That was fun. Hi, Kate. Welcome. Kathy's on. Good to see you. So let me get my computer set up here and uh, find my Facebook Live so I can monitor your um, questions and comments. Hi, Cindy. Cindy was also a big winner today at my team meeting. Patricia, good to see you on here. Thanks for the share, Kathy. Hi, Lisa. I just saw Lisa yesterday. And another Lisa from Phillips. Connie Ward, welcome. Okay, I am going to... There I am. And I have myself muted, so that's good. I don't look too crazy. <laughs> it's weird seeing yourself big on a screen like that. Hi, Sarah Simon. Hi, Jay. Welcome, Kay. Okay, so I have a lot of stuff to show you tonight, and I am super, super excited about Celebration, the Occasions Mini Catalog. Holy cow. Hi, Steve Atchison. <laughs> um, Twyla, nice to have you. Sharon, hello, Sharon. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to share some cards while everybody's getting logged on and um, show you what I got in the mail this week. So this beautiful card, and isn't that just spectacular? This is from my friend Mary Lynn Weller, and she's from Port Angeles, Washington. And she's wishing me another great year, so that's exciting. She also said that um, she used my alcohol te technique, but she blew it through a straw. So isn't that interesting? This is really, really pretty. That was from Mary Lynn. And then, oh, this is a frog card. <laughs> this was one of my swaps. I'll show you this in a minute. Uh, that goes in there. Sorry, that shouldn't have been in my mail pile. Okay, and then I got a beautiful Christmas card from Jody Peterson from Avon, Indiana. And isn't that just so pretty? I love the red rhinestones on there. My friend Sue Molden has a quick and simple, this is our Simply Stamping. So we have a thing going on with Stampin' Up! right now that's called Hashtag Simple Stamping. And you can enter the contests for the month. I don't know if it's just for demonstrators or if it's open to the public. But anyways, if you do some simple stamping where you're just using paper, ink, and stamps, there's no layers on here, there's no fancy stuff, there's no die cuts, there's no embossing. They did say the, um, the February challenge was Valentine cards, and you can use one punch. <laughs> Am I making Chicago Bears sympathy cards? <laughs> so we were just watching the end of the Bears game, the Chicago Bears, and for those of you that are overseas, that is um, Chicago's uh, professional football team. Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing some Valentine's, so hang tight, Kay, I think. I, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we'll see. Anyways, um, the Bears could have won the game at the end, and I don't even know what happened because there was still some time left, but their kicker kicked to make a field goal to win the playoff game for the Bears, and it hit the goal post and didn't go in, so... Somebody, I think, should be looking for a new job because <laughs> that's what's, that's, that's what's going to happen there. So anyways, I got this fabulous um, Simply Stamping card from my friend Sue Molden, and um, she always writes the funniest things. She's just a really funny lady, and she said that these types of cards she saw on one of my videos are going to be perfect. She goes to the Tachita Women's Prison and does a um, card ministry with them. And she says that they're tightening things up there. She can, 
Um, she can no longer send cards made with simple or yeah, simple layers. So it's simple stamping technique will really come in handy. So that's pretty cool. Thank you, Sue. That was wonderful. And then Sandra, and I don't know how to say Sandra's last name. Sconezi, Sconexi, Sconezni from Oak Creek, Wisconsin. I'm sorry, Sandra. I just killed your name, but I, I know how to spell it. <laughs> This was her Happy New Year card. And do you guys recognize this card stock? This was one of our celebration items last year. Yeah, Kathy says she feels sorry for the Bears fans. I do too because um, my stepdaughter Anna's husband and then Anna's daughter um, Andy, huge Bears, Bears fans, just huge Bears fans. And I thought, oh my gosh, they have to be just like having a heart attack at the end of this game. And um, so I'm assuming that they did lose then, which is really sad. But Sandra sent me um, this New, Year, New Year's card. She says, I hope your business does well this coming year. Um, you're doing a wonderful job. I enjoy your Sunday night videos and everything you do. I wish you a happy and healthy New Year. Thank you. Also for your husband too. Steve, that's for you. Um, thanks for all you do for us stampers. So isn't that just like... Very sweet. Thank you so much, Sandy. I really appreciate that. Next, I have a very cool card, and this is coming to me from Lisa Harden. And Lisa is from Boise, Idaho. And look at how cute this card is. We're going to be actually using this stamp set tonight. So, isn't that cute? Cake is the answer. And she sent me this card. The inside, look at the inside. How pretty is that? And it says, who cares what the question is? <laughs> so this is kind of a fun little stamp set. We're actually going to be using it tonight. But um, Lisa sent me a letter to go with the card, and it was so sweet. I was recently a guest presenter in a training program for Stampin' Up! Demonstrators, and um, she was thanking me for the tips that I had shared with her and telling me that she really got a lot out of them. And um, that's really sweet of you. Thank you very much. Because things like that really mean a lot. Because, you know, if you have any type of little insecurities, which we all do, when you do a presentation like that, you're like, gosh, did I really reach out to anybody? Did they? Did my stuff make sense? Did, did they get anything out of the time they spent watching me talk about my business? So that's really sweet that she did that. And then as long as I'm talking about that, I'm kind of excited because... I got asked to be a guest speaker at a leadership conference, a training conference coming up in Michigan next month. And I have to tell you, I was super excited because it's hosted by Rhonda Wade and um, she knows me. I've trained with her before and so she knows my business. She knows me personally and I just feel like it's a huge, like, I don't even know what to say. I I was so like giddy that she asked me to do it. Um, very honored and um, very grateful that she thought enough about me and my business to invite me to do that. So I know, right? It's like, it's a real big deal in my world. <laughs> I know it may not sound like much, but I'm like, Rhonda asked me to be a guest presenter. So I was super excited about that. Okay, beautiful cards I received this week. Thank you guys so much. I love the cards. Make sure you click on that share button to share my video. That really helps me out. Click the like button. That helps me out too. And um, now I know where you're going. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Rhonda's sweet. And that's where I'll be going in, um, in February. I'm going down with um, some friends of mine. And, um, well, they're all, we're all friends. But a couple of my downline and one of my good friends were heading over to Lansing, Michigan in February. So pray for some good weather. It's kind of a crazy place to go in, um, in February because you never know when we're going to get snowstorms. And hi, Luann. Hi, Dawn. Welcome. Cammy. welcome. Robin. Thank you guys so much. That's so sweet. Um, I've got a few things to talk about that are coming up this week. One of them, I have a blog hop tomorrow on my blog. And you can always find my blog at www.astampabove.com. And um, blog hop tomorrow with the color fusers. We were challenged to use Balmy Blue, Mint Macron, Whisper White, 
and gray granite. I'm like, oh, and one more color. What was it? Gray granite to make some cards. And I have to tell you that this is the hardest challenge of the month for me. And I have this blog hop every month. And um, I really, really like it because it really makes me uh, create things out of my comfort zone because I don't think I would have ever put these colors together, but I made two really cool cards using the Butterfly Gala stamp set um, bundle. And I can't show them to you because the blog hop hasn't gone live yet, but tomorrow, look for those. The other thing that I have going on is Thursday, I have a blog hop with one stamp at a time blog hoppers, and we are featuring Celebration. So make sure you check back. I'll have a video and some really cool project. I haven't made it yet, but um, I think it's going to be a Valentine. No, it can't because that's not Celebration. I don't know what I'm going to make. <laughs> um, and for those of you in my VIP Facebook group, now, um, starting in the month of December, I started giving away tons of things. I have a wheel that I spin and people win. And I've been doing exclusive videos in that VIP group. If you have ever placed an order with me and you don't know what I'm talking about right now, you need to contact me. Pop me an email, send me a private message and say, Kelly, I've ordered from you, but I don't know what you're talking about. Because when you place an order with me, I send you an invitation directly from that Facebook group to your email. Lots of times your email service will bury it. They'll put it in junk mail. They'll put it in, instead of your inbox, they'll put it in your um, social tab if you have Gmail, blah, blah, blah. So lots of times people don't know what it is and they don't get it. And I can't just put you in the group. You have to do something too, because otherwise I could just put everybody in my group and that's not how these things work. So if you don't know what I'm talking about and you've placed an order with me, you need to contact me to get in this group. I still have stuff to give away. One of the things that's in my box over here, I have a couple bundles, punch in a stamp set, punch in, or dies in a stamp set. I also have a stamp apparatus to give away yet. We haven't given that away. And I just want to let you guys know that are in my VIP group, you haven't seen me in the last week because I kind of got buried. And what I mean by that is I had a whole bunch of deadlines I had to meet with certain things like this blog hop tomorrow. I had a team meeting earlier today. Um, I had, oh, I had a card buffet yesterday. Holy cow, I've been super busy. So I've got projects that I want to share with you in a, in a Facebook Live on my VIP private group, but I haven't had time to do it. So just know that I'm not done giving away stuff. I still have some stuff in the box, some really good stuff. All of it's good, right? And um, I hope to maybe do something again this week. We'll see what happens. But um, I've still got a, a lot on my plate right now. It just kind of like I said, it just kind of came at me at once. So, excuse me. All right. I want to share with you, at my team meeting, um, today I think we had uh, around 25 people watching live for my team meeting, which I think is probably the biggest live attendance. I shouldn't say that because people come to the meeting. Okay, but then there's other people that are far away and they can't come to the meeting. And I do a Facebook Live just like I'm doing right here. So I broadcast it to my team members on a special private group. And everybody's available to um, attend our meetings. And our meetings are really cool. We cover lots of great topics. We give lots of good tips. Um, you learn lots of good things like, did you know that once you buy the discount shopper kit that you're entitled to a 20% discount? Well, most of you know that, but did you know that if Stampin' Up! has a 50% off sale and you are a discount shopper, you now get 70% off? Yeah, so we share stuff like that. And um, today we had 23 people watching us live. And when people, when the, when my team members watch live, they also get entered into the door price drawings as if they were there. And we had a lot of winners from our live broadcast today. So that was pretty cool. Another great feature is we have a card um, swap every month. And I have some cards to share with you. These are all Valentine cards. That was our theme. I'm not going to share the one that I made because I'm going to be doing a video on it um, later this week. Yeah, Luann says she did not know that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, so look at this. Isn't this beautiful? 
And this uses one of the bundles out of the Occasions mini catalog. So let me let me do this. I'm going to untie this because it opens up. Whoops, maybe I shouldn't have untied it. I'm just going to slip the ribbon off. Oh my gosh, wait till you see what this does. Ready? Ma! Holy cow, is this not the coolest card? This was made by Patty Skiba. She's one of my team members. We love Patty. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And then this is the back. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, she did just a beautiful job on this. This love is coming from that well said bundle. I showed you some cards made with the word dies earlier that are, you know, smaller. That's where that's coming from. But isn't that just so pretty? And then this is a die that's part of the Valentine set. And I'll tell you what that's called in a few minutes. It, it, oh, wait, I've got it right here. Sorry. <laughs> um, meant to be. Okay, this is on page six in the Occasions mini catalog. Here's the stamp set. Here are the dies right down here in the bottom. Oh, oh right down here in the bottom. You guys remember I'm backwards on the screen, so it's kind of goofy, and that's why I might seem a little discombobulated. I seem discombobulated a lot. <laughs> Hi, Barb News Mom. Welcome. Beth from North Carolina. Make sure as you're popping on here that you're at least leaving me one comment. You can say where you're from. You can just say hello or whatever. But there are drawings for people who comment. So you have to make sure that your name gets in here at least once. I don't know why my nose is like stuffy all of a sudden, but we're going to have to deal with that. Here is another card, and this is made by my good friend and downline, Kathy Miller, and she used the Dazzling Diamonds um, Glimmer Paper in here. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, and then she emailed us today. Kathy, I'm going to tell. <laughs> she emailed us later today and said she got home, and the insides for her cards are sitting on her desk. <laughs> I've done that. So she's going to mail them out to everybody, and that's really sweet, but isn't this just a Beautiful card. I'm going to show you this designer series paper because um, we're using it for a card tonight. So, yeah. And then, <laughs> Nell says, you're killing me for sure. Then we have this beautiful card from Kathy Beck. And isn't this oh so pretty? Yeah, and again, we're using, whoops, that designer series paper that I'm going to show you. This is the free celebration ribbon from the celebration brochure. You get five rolls in um, a rainbow of colors. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And this is from the Forever Lovely stamp set. That's featured on page five. Isn't that pretty? And then here's the paper. We've also got these hearts I'm going to show you. A pack of ribbon and then here are the framelits. I know this is really hard to see but I'm going to show them to you in real life so just hang tight. We'll we'll do that in a minute. But yeah so the cool thing oh here's the inside very pretty. The cool thing about doing these swaps is we don't put our names on the back of them so that we can use these cards um, which makes them that much more valuable. We just put a little slip of paper with our name in a clear envelope with the card. So that's just one of the little benefits of belonging to my team, whether you're gonna be a business builder or a discount shopper. Our kit is $99, you get to choose $175 worth of product. Who thinks that's crazy? I do, but it's true. And you can also add, oh, here's the tote. This gorgeous tote, you can get this. You can only get it now if you order the Discount Shopper Kit. You can get this gorgeous Stamping Up tote with um, your starter kit for $129. And you get to choose $175 worth of product of your choice. And then people will say, okay, I think I want to order the kit, but can I order anything I want for that $175? That's what I said. You get to choose anything you want, $175 worth of product for $99 or $129 with the tote. There's no shipping on that. You would pay $17.50 shipping if you ordered $175 worth of product. No shipping. You also get a paper pumpkin kit which is another $20 value. So the value of our discount shopper kit is much more than $175. You got paper pumpkin, you got free shipping, you know, you got all this stuff. Then afterwards you get to 
order at a 20% discount. And remember what I said, if Stampin' Up! has a sale and they do 50% off something, now you get 70% off. I know. <laughs> now, here's the one thing. There are no strings attached. Nothing happens if you don't ever do anything else with your discount shopper kit other than order it, okay? Um, we love it if you would order at a discount, but you don't have to. You do not get to choose celebration items with your $175 order. First of all, you're only paying $99 for it or $129 with the tote. But that would only qualify you for one celebration item. And do you think one celebration item is worth from the $99 to the $175? That's $76 worth of product for free. Kind of a no-brainer. Thank you, Lisa, for the update. I've got 284 people watching me. Bless your hearts. <laughs> so, discount shopper kit. You go to my blog, www.estampabove.com. Scroll down in the right-hand column. You're going to see a button that says $99 kit. Click on that. It's going to give you questions and answers and tell you all the details about it. You'll find a link you can click on, and you can go right to the website and order your kit because it's a no-brainer. And Carol just said, I can't believe I've been discount shopping for, and I just lost your comment because you went away quickly. Let me go back to Carol. Where did she go? Oh, great. Now my computer's not keeping up. I can't be, believe I've been discount shopping for almost two years. I was planning on just getting the kit. I know, right? But it's such a good deal. Um, to continue the discount is the $300 quarterly before or after the discount. Um, that's a twist on words, so I don't know how to answer that, but I do know the answer. If you place a $100 order, you're really only paying $80 for it because you get that 20% discount, but it, it goes towards your sales at the $100 price. Does that make sense for you? So it's your benefit. It's to your benefit the way that it works. So you order $100, you only pay $80, and $100 sales goes to, towards your $300 quarter. And people say, $300 a quarter? I'm not going to spend that much. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, we all think that, right? Um, but lots of people do. Like, lots of people do. But I want to tell you that you can share that with a friend. If you just want to be a discount shopper, your friends can order through you too to help you get to that $300 a quarter. The cool part about Celebration right now is that when you sign up, you get till the end of June before you have to meet that $300 quota because you get a full quarter with Stampin' Up! a full quarter to meet your $300. And right now we're in January. We're on January 6th. That wouldn't be a full quarter, right? Because we've already gone by six days. So you get till the end of June. And then what happens? You go into pending. Pending. What does that mean? That means that if you don't catch up by the end of July, you're no longer active. Stampin' Up! won't come knocking on your door looking for their $175 worth of stuff. Nothing happens to you. Just nothing happens to you. Um, Judy says it's just like $100 a month, but less if you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. Um, it's like $100 a month. Yeah, it is $100 a month. Or you can you can do $150 twice in a quarter and get the, the Stampin' Host Rewards. So that's kind of a better way to do it. So just know that, okay? Um, if you have any questions, email me. I'm going to keep going here because we have a lot of things to cover. I have to give away some prizes. <laughs> Okay, uh, winners from uh, December 30th. I drew names for commenting. We have, I don't know if Cindy's watching. We have Cindy Worley of Greenwood, Indiana. You are the big winner of a chamois. And these Simply Chamois are fabulous. Even if you already have one, I kind of like to have two. The first one I keep in a clear case, okay? Just a clear stamp case. We sell these cases. So that's my chamois. It keeps it nice and moist. My friend Dina hates that word, moist. <laughs> keeps it nice and moist. And um, the other one that I have that I use, I cut in half so I can pick it up easily and wipe bigger stamps off that may not fit that good in here. Okay? So it's good to have two chamois, even if you have one. But this is going out to... 
Cindy Worley of Greenwood, Indiana, and she won this by her comment. Her name was drawn. And then for sharing, please make sure you're sharing my video right now. You can click on the share. And um, yeah, Sarah says she's been a discount shopper for 10 years now. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> Um, for sharing, I've got Kim Loper of Oshkosh, Wisconsin. You are going to win. I'm going to get these out so you guys can see them because they're super duper cute. These are the candle embellishments. Look, I just spilled two of them. I'll put them back in there. But aren't they cute? Silver and gold candles. And they're self-adhesive. So you peel a sticker off the back and you stick them to your cards or scrapbook pages. Hang on, I got one that's trying to get away from me here. So that's the little candles. And Kim won this for sharing my video. So congratulations, Kim. And by the way, Kim, if you're watching, I didn't see if you were on there. Um, somebody just asked, is the chamois mold if sealed? So I keep one on my desk all the time. And I have not had any moldy problems. However, the ones that I use for my monthly stamp clubs. Hi, Kelly McCauley. <laughs> the other Kelly's on now. Um... The ones I use for my monthly stamp clubs, I take the cases, I open up and I open them up and lay them on my table and let them dry. So I have like, I don't know, six or eight more chamois. I just open them up and let them dry. And then when it's time for stamp clubs again or my card buffet, I will get them wet and close them back up the day before and take them with. I don't leave them for extended periods of time, but this one that sits on my desk is damp all the time. I use it pretty much every day. Um, and I have not, no mold. It doesn't smell. It doesn't get weird. So um, there's, I don't know what's in these chamois. They're absorbers and um, they're like magic. I don't get it. Just take them and rinse them, squeeze them out, throw it back in here. It's damp and ready to go. Yeah. Sharon says there's no mold on hers either. Marianne loves the chamois. You guys, I haven't touched my Stampin' Scrub or my Stampin' Mist Spray. These are chemical-free. All you use is water, and you, you'll you see me use them. You just squish your stamp into them, cleans them off, ready to roll. I love them. So that's the chamois. Next winner is Lois Billadu from Ringgold, Georgia. And Lois won for her order, and I've got one more Spirited Snowman stamp set to give away. So that's what Lois is going to get. And congratulations to all of you. I'm sure I will be going to the post office tomorrow because I have a whole bunch of team meeting door prizes to mail out as well. So yeah, they're kind of like car chamois, Sharon, except they're a little spongier. So they're just a little bit different. Hi, Nancy. Okay. I am going to set these aside. I got to put them someplace though where I won't lose them. Oh, I was looking for my chamois. Here's all my chamois, you guys. So these are all my chamois that I take to my stamping events for people to use. Now I will open these up and lay them out on my table and let them dry. I'll probably rinse them out first. What about conditioning the red rubber? Um, the stamp cleaner is a conditioner for the red rubber, but I don't know that it's really necessary like it's a must do I know there are people that have never used the stamp and mist spray and red rubber is a very high quality rubber it's not just a regular run-of-the-mill rubber um, Stampin' Up always makes sure that they're getting the best quality products including the rubber for longevity because they don't want their stuff drying up and getting all crappy um, yeah, and Kelly says she thinks you can clean them quicker and better. And I agree. I love these chamois. Like, I will never go back to spray and the, um, whatever the cleaner thing was called. I can't even think of it right now. But um, these are the bomb. It's all I use now. So, yeah, they are spongier, right? And um, here we go. I missed a comment, and I, I can't go back now. <laughs> There's no turning back now, people. We're going to stamp. Okay, let me move these cards out of my way. Now, if you get motion sickness, you are going to want to close your eyes until I tell you to open it. And I'm going to flip my camera around now. We get disconnected. You need to just pop back on my page and refresh it and find the live video. 
I moved my stand today, so hang on. It's a little tippy, and I don't want anybody to get hurt. <laughs> we don't want anybody hurt in the filming of this video. Let me undo my... Yep, okay. Here we go. Oh, this is kind of a weird angle. We'll see how this goes, you guys. Um, I'm going to turn off that light because I think we'll have enough light here. And how does... Does that look okay to you guys? I think it looks okay. And... All right. Let me put this away. I am going to bring in our first project. And... I want to show you guys the So Happy For You, I think it's called, our little frog set. This is one of the free items during celebration. Now there's always the long time people who've been with Stampin' Up! purchasing stuff from them forever, right? Oh, and did I tell you you could open your eyes? <laughs> I'm sorry if I didn't tell you that, <laughs> but you can open your eyes. Um, there's always the longtime stampers. I'm a longtime stamper. I will actually be celebrating my 15th year as a demonstrator in March. So I want you to know everybody that's been with Stampin' Up! buying products from them for a long time understands what celebration is, but there's a lot of people that are new. So in this little brochure, and you should have received this in the mail from me, in this little brochure, all the products in here that show the uh, orange emblem or the green emblem are free. Here it tells about the tote, $99, $129. And here's the emblem. This is a free stamp set. Here's the emblem. You get all of these free with every $50 that you purchase. Here's the wood elements, the butterfly paper. So wherever you see an orange emblem, that is a free item that you can choose for every $50 you order. I saw somebody earlier today, um, they put in a pretty big order and they got like many of these celebration items. Here's the So Happy Together. We're going to be using that. Don't forget about this Grapefruit Grove and Lovely Lipstick Foil Sheets. These are amazing. They are so incredibly beautiful and I will be showing you. Um, some stuff. One of my one of my team members showed us cards made with this today, and one of the butterfly dies, and it was just unbelievable. Again, free, free. Here's a kit. This is free. Now we get into the hundred dollars. These bigger items. This is a whole set of framelits that matches the tea together stamp set on page forty nine in the occasions mini catalog. With your hundred dollar purchase, you can choose this. And then we also have the Lasting Lily, which has the $100 emblem by it. So when you when your order reaches $100, you can get this. If your order reaches $200, you can get this and this or any combination of these. It actually tells you. And that reminds me, I have a video showing how to place an order and where you claim your celebration items. I need to get that loaded. I've got it loaded on YouTube. I just haven't um, made it public yet. But it's, a, it's helpful for people that are new. Okay, here we go. I have a ton, ton of these frog cards to show you because I actually host a um, bundle swap every month. And this last month in December, our bundle swap was this stamp set. So I've got 20 cards to show you using this. And I'm actually using one of the cards that I got in this bundle swap to show you tonight how to make it. And it was created by Kathy Miller, who is on my team. And I told her shortly before I went live, I was making her card tonight. And she's always good with that. So thank you very much, Kathy. Make sure you're sharing my video if you haven't yet. Kate says I'm freezing up because she's driving back. Yeah, you've got bad internet going on. Ugh. And Jackie's waiting for her foil sheets to arrive. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of fun cards to make with this frog set. It is stinking adorable. For those of you that are new, this is just some printer paper that I tape onto a piercing mat so I can stamp on it. And it's just a good little bit of cushion under your stamps. Makes them stamp better. Okay, we have... Oh, before I get started, you're like, oh, she said he was going to now. She's not going to start. I just want to let you know that... 
because I had a team meeting today and then I had to design the projects for tonight, I don't have everything typed up and ready to roll. So I do not know if I will be posting these projects tonight with their dimensions on my blog right away or not, but I'll do my best. I, Like I said, I've got so many deadlines that I'm supposed to hit in the next few days. Um, but I will get them on my blog. I just don't know if I can do it real quick tonight like I have been the last couple weeks. Okay, that's enough of that. So we've got, um, this is soft sea foam. And <laughs> Sharon, Sharon says she thinks I have a troll on here today. His name is Steve Atchison. Yeah, you do. <laughs> This is soft sea foam, five and a half by eight and a half, and I'm just gonna fold this in half for our card base. And I really haven't used this cardstock um, very much. This is one of our new colors, but I have to say that I have used it quite a few times in the last several days, and it's really growing on me. Like, I really like it. Then, I've got a piece of, oh, you know what? Hang on a second, you guys, because I forgot to cut my Call Me Clover. We're gonna use some Call Me Clover. Let me cut that really quick. Sorry about that. There might be some more minor errors tonight too. Because like I said, I was really kind of in a squeeze. Okay, this is four by five and a quarter. And then I've got a piece of Whisper White that is three and three quarters by five. And I've already run this through the softly falling embossing folder. So you can see those little polka dotties on there. Yeah, I love those. Oh, thank you for telling me to plug my phone in. I did not have it plugged in. Hang on, it's going to wiggle a little bit. What are you guys drinking tonight? Oh my gosh. I have Pepsi. I still haven't given it up. Somebody said, I thought you said you were going to give away, give up Pepsi. Well, I am, but I'm not ready to lose the fat yet. So just back off, sister. No, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> no, you guys keep hassling me about giving up the Pepsi because I seriously have gained all the weight back that I lost last summer, and that's not okay with me. And I see Janet just popped on here. So, <laughs> hi Janet. I used your bowl thing again. My Aunt Janet made um, out of fabric a thing that goes around your bowl so that when you take it out of the microwave, you don't get your fingers burned. I've used it so many times in the last few days. Steve made homemade chili tonight. I would put his chili in a chili cook-off against anybody. It is phenomenal. He puts green peppers and red peppers and yellow peppers in it and they're kind of crunchy when you eat them. Oh, love it. We've got Mountain Dew. We've got water. We've got skinny vanilla latte. Denise, I don't know if that sounds fun. <laughs> the skinny part doesn't sound really fun, but I will be living that soon. I promise you. Okay. We are going to get on with our card here. I also have a scrap of Whisper White and... Um, a piece of Call Me Clover. The Call Me Clover is two inches by three and three eighths. And I will get these dimensions typed up for you and loaded on above the Facebook video when we're done. So don't worry about that. I'm going to take this cute little hey <laughs> and this cute little happy for you. And we are going to just snip these out. So we're going to do a little word piecing, I like to call it just like this. And again, remember, I did not design this cutie patootie card. It was designed by my downline, Kathy Miller. Kathy's always one of my, she's also one of my assistants that helps me. And we do the card buffet together. And um, Kathy was actually my very, very first recruit. She's the first person that bought the starter kit from me a million years ago. <laughs> And she's still with me, so I guess that says something, right? Okay, then um, you'd need a scrap of the soft sea foam. And who is in love with these beasts? These are the stitched or the rectangle stitched framelit dies. You get 13 of these in the pack, and we're going to be using several of them tonight for various projects. But I just started using these, these guys, you guys. I'm in love. I'm completely in love. I can't even tell you. These are amazing. 13 different sizes of dies. So what I did here, let me grab this one. I'll take these out of here. 
This one right here is probably going to be my favorite size, but I'll use the others too. Um, I took this and I die cut from soft sea foam the die. So I've already got this die cut, and I'll show you how these work in a little bit, but we're just going to... I worked ahead through the magic of TV, you know. <laughs> we're going to take this cute little guy on the unicycle and ink him up in the Call Me Clover ink. Oh, Mercy said that my tip was wonderful where I said to use an old gift card to move the ink on the ink pad before using the distinctive stamps. I am so glad that you um, heard that tip because that can be very, very frustrating. <gasps> Look at how cute is he? He's just adorable, isn't he? Okay, we're gonna do that. And then, you know, I think, I thought I had my layers. I probably put them in the wrong place here. But I keep some Whisper White cut to the right size. This is this is four by five and a quarter. I'm gonna put this on the inside of my card. So I decided that I just wanted a frog in there, okay? Um, I just wanted some type of a little decoration. So now we're ready to put our card together. Everybody thinks when you see these line stamps, which this is a line stamp, this is a whole line stamp set, like you think you always have to color them in. And so I love to be able to show you ways that you do not, if you're not a person who likes to color, you don't have to color in line stamps. You can do all kinds of other things with them. And I wish the HP guy would stay off my screen. He keeps popping up telling me that my ink is low. I'm like, that's the eighth time today. I obviously do not care, pal. <laughs> I want him to leave me alone now. Yeah. And it just keeps popping up. And I went and looked at the settings to see if I could make it stop. And I can't figure it out. So I didn't waste too much time on it. So just a cute little frog on the inside here. Then we're going to take the white that we ran through the softly falling embossing folder. I think I'm going to have to get some new glue out here. And we're going to put this on the Call Me Clover layer. And then I've got something really fun. I'm going to get out a different bottle of glue here. Hang on, because that one's going to make me crazy. Okay, now check this stuff out. This is our leaf ribbon, and I found the end of it earlier today. Where did it go? All right. Hang on. There it is. Whew. Isn't this fun? So this goes really good with that animal outing set or anything else that you need leafy items for. But we're going to take this and we're going to put some on our layer with our frog card. This is an annual catalog. You may have completely skipped over it if you missed it. But it's on the same page with all of our ribbon. And I'm just going to tape this on here. And Now remember, this card was designed by not me, but by Kathy. And she's the one who came up with this idea. And I thought, oh my gosh! That is just so adorable. So I'm missing questions because my computer isn't keeping up. So yeah. Okay, next we're going to take this layer and we're gonna add some dimensionals. So I'm gonna put this on here. And remember, this is the one that you think that you always have to color, but you don't. Here comes my little tip for this, stick your fingernail in the middle and it'll help those edges pop up and you can get these off easier. This one's gonna go right here. And then we've got these little words, remember? I'm gonna cut that one too, no, I shouldn't say that. It's not cut too small, hang on. I'm gonna take one little dimensional right here and then I'm gonna take a sliver, just like that. Now a mini dimensional might have fit on here, but it might not have, and I didn't want to take the time to find out, so I just did that. And we're gonna do, hey, <laughs> hey, yeah. And the hoppy for you, just like that. Isn't this cute? And here's our card. 
super, super cute frog card. What do you guys think? Yeah, everybody loves the frog, right? Super cute. Hey, happy for you, or hoppy, hoppy for you. You can use this as an all occasion card. You could stamp a happy birthday in here or a congratulations for somebody who did something. Or even, like I always say, like if somebody gets a new car, you could send them this. You know, happy for you. Congratulations on your new car. Or glad you got a new car or whatever. Just a reason to send a darn card to make somebody smile. It doesn't matter what you do it for. Are you guys ready to see a gazillion of these frog cards? Because I want to show them to you. Yeah, this um, Susan says, love the leaf ribbon. It is super cool, isn't it? And it is just called Leaf Ribbon. So when you go online to place your order, make sure that you're using this host code. This is my January host code. You can find my online ordering button right here. It's also right on my Facebook page. You can click and it'll take you right to my store. Um, you want to make sure you see my name in the right-hand top corner. It'll say Kelly Atchison. But you're just going to type in the search little blank. You're going to type in Leaf Ribbon. This will pop right up. Okay. Let me move this stuff so I can show you all the frog cards. You're going to you're going to just giggle. They're so cute and funny and quirky. Get all these stamps put back in here. And I don't need that. I'll put this away. I'm going to leave the rectangle out and perhaps clean up my mess a little bit. Okay. Frog card number 1. Here is frog card number two. Isn't this cute? So they made black and white paper in the background with the dragonfly that's in here and then the little flies. There's three little flies that are together. So this is stinking adorable. And this is colored with our Stampin' Blend markers and I believe it's Granny Apple Green. So that's super cute. Then we've got this one. This is called a diorama card and it's scored in the front and the back layer so that it sits up like this, okay? And let's see, I know somebody's gonna ask me so I'm gonna measure it right now. This is five, uh, uh, about maybe five and a quarter by four and a quarter, and then it's scored at a half inch and one, and then a half inch and one on both sides. You've got Whisper White. This, again, was colored with the Stampin' Blend markers, and this one's Old Olive. So super, super cute diorama card. And then we've got this one, and I love that they stamped this on the Old Olive, or maybe this is Mossy Meadow. No, I think it's Old Olive. Um, designer series paper with the polka dots on it and I'm gonna see if I can yeah yeah because this is the stripes and then there's polka dots so this is our um, little um, let's see the regals designer series paper stacks they're six by six isn't this just cute it's adorable so they stamp the frog right on the designer paper and then cut it out and then we've got this cutie with the Gingham Gala designer series paper and a rhinestone in the tire. That's a great idea. I have not done that yet. I have colored some of these, but I haven't done that. I really think that's cute. Here comes another one. They use the polished stone technique. I hope you can see that on this strip right here. And then they also spritzed this with um, some of the frost white uh, shimmer paint and then this is that funky ribbon from the occasions mini catalog it's granny apple green on one side and coastal cabana on the other this is a new embossing folder i think it's called dot to dot very very cute super cute card coastal cabana and granny apple green that's a really cool combination we've got some more old olive here with daffodil delight for a trifold. This one's really cool. And this uses the rectangles too, you guys. These um, stitched rectangles dies. So very cool. <gasps> Look at this one. This is, uses, the, uses the designer series paper that I'm going to show you tonight. And look at the crown. So there's a crown and I'm trying to remember where that, is that in here? Yeah, it's right in here. Forgot about that. So I love the rhinestones on top of the frog's crown. 
And again, with the, um, that technique, what did I just call it? Um, alcohol something or another. Jeez, really, Kelly? Um, polished stone. <laughs> like I couldn't even remember it. Some of our rose-colored metallic thread in there. Super, super cute. Here comes another one. This one uses the ruffled folder and our square, layering squares. Super cute, right? This is one of my favorites. I just love the pop of color on here. So this is one of our designer series papers. Again, with the stitched rectangles. Very cool. I've shown you guys this layout before. That was by Christine. Then we've got this one. This is Pacific, no, this is Blueberry Buckle or Blueberry Bushel as Stampin' Up! likes to call it. <laughs> um, with Daffodil Delight. Oh no, you know what? I think this isn't Daffodil. It's Pineapple Punch. It's that really bright yellow. Super cute card there. Here comes another one. And isn't this just fancy? Celebration ribbon here. That's cool. This is that organdy ribbon you get in a... Um, variety of colors and again with that dot to dot is that what that folder is called you guys I can't remember it takes me a little while to um, get all this stuff memorized just because you use it a lot I don't know what it's called but anyways it's a it's a new embossing folder then we have some more rectangles I know this is shocking Look at that. I love the gradient of color. We've got black and mossy meadow and I believe old olive. And then one of the new little um, enamel dots that's in the Occasions mini catalog for the center of the wheel. That's really, really cute. Cute, cute card. Comes another cutie one. Uh, okay, so Terry just says she likes the deco card. I don't know which one that is. So you're going to have to give me a little more information there. Again, with the free celebration ribbon, this is the um, Gingham Gala paper. And here's that Well Said bundle. Yeah, cute, huh? This is Judy's card. And I like this one. It's really, really soft, isn't it? It's like kind of soft and comforting. So we've got some designer series paper. This is from that Twinkle Twinkle designer series paper. And I think this is gray granite. So that's a really, really cute card. Here's a very simple card with a little bit of the pineapple punch ribbon on it. And again, no coloring on these frogs, right? So that's another example where you can use these line stamps without coloring it. And then, oh, I'll show you my cards last. Isn't this cute? I love the polka dots on the back. This is some new designer series paper here that's in the Occasions mini catalog. Super cute card. She just folded it over, tore the edge off, and put some polka dots on this side. And um, super cute. And then this was the frog card, one of my frog cards. I had to make two different designs that I um, used for this particular swap. So, and I did color these with blends. I used the light flirty flamingo and then the combo of the granny apple green. This one is pool party, this one is Bermuda Bay. This scallop is blackberry bliss and this one is granny apple green. So some good, bright, fun color combinations, right? Okay. Again, I'm just going through my comments because for some reason my computer isn't scrolling them up as they're coming in. So I'm getting behind and I'm really sorry. Um, Cindy Hops says diorama. Is that what someone um, who just asked me to demo a card? Was it this one you wanted me to demonstrate? Terry, you asked me. If it was the diorama, just let me know because those are real simple and I can certainly do that for you. Okay. There's our frog cards. Super, super fun. Where did my card go? I gotta keep that out so I can do the dimensions for you guys. Okay, and somebody said they love my bracelet. Isn't that pretty? I got this at a floral shop. Our floral shop um, around here, it's a small chain. It's in a couple different um, cities near me. They have the most beautiful jewelry. And so every time I go there, I end up coming home with a piece of jewelry. It's kind of cool. Okay, next, we are going to, I've got a big lineup for you guys tonight, so I hope you're not like in a hurry to go anyplace. <laughs> I'm not going to let you go. We're going to use the Forever Lovely Bundle, and we're going to talk a little bit about that. 
I've got some really cool things to share with you. And as I was working with these dies today, I'm like, oh, you know what? I need to do a tip video um, showing everybody what the dies do because I'm not going to have time to show you everything they do when I make my card tonight because I've got, you know, other things planned. But I think maybe on Wednesday I'll go through and show you how these dies work because there's some very interesting things that they do. Thank you, Terry. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, yeah, the frog is just the cutest thing. Now, remember, that frog stamp set is free with your $50 order. Okay, here we go. This particular bundle of products has so many beautiful things with it. And I'm going to bring out my cardstock layers here. Now, if you guys went to um, on stage in Orlando, you have seen this card for the most part already. Um, for my customers who weren't able to attend on stage, this will be new for you. But I'm going to show you how to make this. And as long as we're talking about on stage, let's talk about on stage. So starting January 15th, Stampin' Up! is opening up registration to an on stage event. And they're having them all around the world. Um, there's one in, I think, Auckland, New Zealand. And then we have several across the United States. I know we talked, there's one in Texas. There's one in Salt Lake City. Um, there's one in Quebec. There's one in Minneapolis. There's one in, I think, Raleigh, North Carolina. So there's, on the very same day, which I think is April 13th, they have an on-stage Stampin' Up! event where Stampin' Up! is there. And it's a fabulous get-together with demonstrators from all around the world, basically, because anybody can come that's a demonstrator. When you buy that discount shopper kit, you can register for this event. Most of my team will be going to Minneapolis because, you know, a lot of them are from this area. But I do have some gals, I think, that are going to rally North Carolina that are also on my team. So... Um, January 15th, registration opens to go to the on-stage event, and that's where I got this card idea from, because we actually get to do make-and-takes when we go to on-stage events, and this was actually one of the make-and-takes from the Florida on-stage. So, um, oh, somebody said, Terry, this is your first live? Well, I am, yeah, that's right, we just got you in here, didn't we? <laughs> okay. So I am going to use Crumb Cake Ink, Lovely Lipstick, and Soft Sea Foam. The first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this rose image from the Forever Lovely, Lovely, let's see if Kelly can talk tonight, stamp set, and I'm going to stamp that tone on tone right up here in the corner. Okay, then I've got a piece of the... All My Love Designer Series paper. And as long, let me move this out of the way. As long as we're talking about that, because we are. <laughs> I just made us talk about it. <laughs> I'm going to show you this paper. This is called All My Love. It's in the Occasions Mini Catalog. Each piece is double-sided. And look at how amazingly beautiful this is. So while one side is kind of geared towards maybe Valentine's Day, the other side is not. And that's one of the things that I absolutely love about Stampin' Up's Designer Series paper. Even if it's for a holiday, like even if it's for Halloween, one side is Halloween-y, <laughs> that is a word in my vocabulary, the other side is not. And so you can use it all year long. Look at these hearts. Do you recognize this? This was on one of those frog cards. Beautiful, beautiful paper. Again, called All My Love. You get um, 12 sheets of this paper. It's 12 by 12. You get two of each pattern. They're all double-sided. So absolutely gorgeous. And that's what we're going to be using to make this card. Right now, let me set this aside. I want to put it someplace where I don't get it wrecked. Where it falls on the floor and dents the edges. Don't you hate that? Okay, so this little piece right here is one and a half by three and three quarters. And I'm going to pop this into my banner triple punch and flag the end of it. Just like that. I love this thing because it always gives you a perfect flag every single time. And then I'm going to kind of just lay it on my card here. 
um, I'm not going to put anything together until we get everything stamped. So here comes a piece of Whisper White, and this is one and seven eighths by four inches. And I'm going to take my lovely lipstick and my soft sea foam. Now this is a cool stamp set because we've got this image, which kind of just looks really goofy. But what it does is it stamps the green leafy stuff and then you can come in with this one and fill in in the holes with the flowers. Right? Totally cool. So again, I'm gonna stand up so I can see what I'm doing here. Stamp this on here. You want to make sure you're using a piercing mat underneath the bigger photopolymer stamps. If you've ever had a big photopolymer stamp and you can't get it to stamp right, <coughs> it's because you don't have a cushion. I've had people actually contact me and tell me their stamp was defective. There was nothing wrong with it. They just weren't using a cushion. For some reason, the big photopolymer stamps need that cushion. It's like a necessity. Hang on. I've got like a little thing in my throat. Okay, this is the lovely lipstick. And now this is going to come in and these flowers are going to fit right in here. Look at that. Ah, it's going to be beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that just phenomenal? All right. So we've stamped these two. Then I'm going to kind of put this in here and take a little look at it because I'm kind of working on my placement here. Then I want to do, there's a leaf stamp in here. And these are the really, really super detailed ones. And I'm just going to put a leaf right over here. Okay, now I'm ready to kind of assemble this. I did want you to know you need a scrap of soft sea foam and I die cut some of the images here <clears throat> and I also did this for you guys so that you can see what these all do I did this is one image this is one die but it cuts two of these I cut one of these and one of these on Wednesday we're gonna talk about these other ones and I'm gonna show you some cool things that they do so you will want to check out on my blog which is right here you will want to check out my Wednesday tip video because I'm gonna be sharing some tips about this set so we've got this this and this I need to get some dimensionals out here dimensionals um, there we go some just fell on the floor that's great <laughs> It happens. I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of this white layer. And then we're going to start assembling this card. And I have to stamp the inside a little bit too. And don't forget to stamp up your envelopes when you're making these cards because the envelopes are important too. I'm just going to take this and glue it down. I'm going to put this eh, about right there. Now, in this suite of products, this is on page five, you've got the All My Love Designer Series paper. We also have this All My Love ribbon combo pack. So you get two different kinds of ribbon. We're going to use the Lovely Lipstick ribbon on this card, and then we're going to use the um, Flirty Flamingo on a different card. You also have these hearts, which I'm going to add to this card. These are epoxy hearts. And there's a cardstock pack. If you guys have been missing this, this is nice because these colors will match with this designer series paper. And of course, when you buy the Forever Lovely with the Lovely Flowers Edgelets, you get a 10% discount. You want to use this item code. All right, ribbon. This is so, so, so pretty. Now, if you don't want to stab yourself trying to get that plastic off your ribbon, Take your ribbon and push it up like this, and this will make it stick out so that you can get your scissors in there and cut that without bleeding. <laughs> there should be no bleeding in the stamping, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm just going to take this and fold it over. I want this to be just about as long as the card. 
And then I'm going to, let's see what I'm doing here. Cut one of the, oh. oh, these are not my sharpest scissors, are they? And the other one, I'm going to cut this way. There we go. Okay. I'm going to stick this right in here like this. I want this to be spread out a little bit down here. Jeez, if I could get a hold of it. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to take some tape. And I'm going to put this right where that white panel is going to go over top. So you're not going to see that. Uh, oh, thanks you guys for the hearts. I appreciate it. This is a really fun and easy card to make. Let me make sure that my... Oh, good. Now it seems like my, my um, comments are sticking up there where they belong. Here comes my white layer, and I'm just going to set this on here, and then I'm going to bring in all these little bits and pieces that I die cut through the magic of TB. Yeah. And, oh, oh, hang on. I forgot one thing. We need a greeting. We're going to take some flirty flamingo, and we're going to stamp wishing you a lovely day. Don't you love that font? And that's why I have my two inch circle punch out here. So we're gonna do, punch this out. And now we're gonna put this on dimensionals and we're gonna tuck those little leafy things under it. We'll put three of them on here. Oh, here comes my HP guy telling me that I'm out of colored ink again. He's really making me angry. He's kind of cute though. <laughs> the email that pops or the window that pops up is pretty funny. <laughs> He's a good looking guy. Like, you know, most UPS guys are pretty hot too. Okay, this is going to go right here. And now I'm going to bring in these little leafy things. And we're going to put this right in here and add some glue to this little bugger. You could die cut these on your adhesive sheets so they're like stickers, that's a good idea too. Put that one right there. This one is gonna go right here. And then we've got this guy. And I'm just going to put glue on that big part because we don't need glue on the stem. It's going to be tucked under things. And oh, I kind of put this one kind of close. There we go. Just like that. Okay. <gasps> then, Whisper White, I am going to clean the stamp off that I had in the crumb cake. And this is the chamois, you guys. And I just do this. There you go, beautiful, clean, ready to rock. And I'm going to put one little rose. Oh, this, look at how beautiful, look at how beautiful is that? It's so, so pretty. Oh, Ingrid has one of those HP guys too. Is your guy as cute as my guy? <laughs> I know, you can't get rid of them. They pop up and you're like, get out of my computer screen. Don't like him. And I know when I need ink, okay? I got the message the first time. I'm not going to print anything. It'll be fine. <laughs> Hi, Megan from Canada. Welcome. I'm glad you caught me. Here is the beautiful card. And wasn't that simple? You could make a ton of these really quickly. Very, very pretty. And I would probably stamp some flowers or something on the um, flap of the envelope to match this. So, there we go. Thank you so much. Well, I can't delete the HP app because it goes with my wireless printer. I thought about that, Suzette. Suzette says delete the HP app, and I'm like, yeah, I don't want to delete my printer, and I think that would cause me more problems than it would do good. You know what I mean? We don't want to do that. Okay, let me clean up my mess here. I'll leave this beautiful card here for you to look at. And then I've got, let's see two more projects. Are you guys up for two more projects? It's already eight o'clock. Oh, I know you say you love me on Sunday night, but if I keep you too long, oh, hang on. If I keep you too long, you won't love me very long. I forgot the hearts. So 
Let me tell you about these epoxy hearts. These are also on that page with this whole suite. These hearts are super cool. You can take your stamp and blend and you can color them and they will not rub off on your fingers. You can color these hearts any, any color you want them to be. But for this project, I don't need my heart to be a color. So I'm just gonna take one of these medium sized ones and I'm gonna put it right here on my little label. And I know it might be hard for you to see, but it shines in the light and it's super cool looking on here. That's it's little tiny embellishment. They're very low profile. So they're not gonna add bulk to your envelope and cost you extra postage. So I just wanna let you know that too. So there you go. Yeah, I know the ink is only $7 a month, but I don't use a lot of ink. I'm just kind of weird about that. And um, so I don't need to buy ink that often. And I do buy my ink from Amazon, so they're pretty cheap. <laughs> yeah. And and Mary said it's 9.10 where she is, and she's going to go to bed soon. And I'm sorry, Mary. But um, just know that you can pick up on this video tomorrow because I will post it. And then you can watch what you miss if you have to leave me. Oh, my Lord. There we go. <laughs> I can get it in the thing. All right, I'm going to put this away. Remember, Wednesday, I'm going to share some tips with you about this um, framelit set. You're going to love it. All right. That goes in there. This goes in here. Hang on while I get this all together. I'll keep this, keep this. I'll set this over here and clean up my mess, okay? Next. Now next what I've got, I, I don't think this card will take very long, Mary, so if you can hang in there, I think you'll be okay. <laughs> um, because I'm not gonna make the whole, I mean, I'm gonna make the whole thing, but I'm gonna show you one of the items that goes with this card. I'll show you how to put it together, but I'm not gonna do the whole thing for this video because I know it's gonna take too long. I shouldn't say video, this is a live. All right, we are gonna be using Life is Grand combined with a oh, piece of cake. Who loves this stamp set? I love stamp sets like that. And we have a punch that punches out the cake and the platter the cake sits on. So this is way cool. Now we are going to be using that ribbon combo pack that I used on the last card. Only we're going to use the flirty flamingo with this, which is eighth inch ribbon. And I already blew through an entire roll of this, you guys, so it's really nice. Now let's see if I can stab myself. This is a little harder for me to get my fingers into because it's more narrow. I can get this open without wrecking my ribbon. Don't you hate that? Sometimes this is harder than making a card. I should have opened this up first. What do you think? I don't even know if I'm going to get it open. We may have no ribbon on our card, you guys, because I don't want to bleed on live TV. Ugh. Well, there we go. <laughs> I got it open kind of. Okay. We're also going to be using these adorable sequins. And these are the Gingham Gala Adhesive Backed Sequins. Super, super cute. I'm going to put one of those on my card. Oops, I just dropped one here. We don't want to lose any because they're that cool. Hang on. Get that right on there. Okay. So we got that. And our ink color we're using is Flirty Flamingo. And I'm bringing in the blends, people. <laughs> we're going to have some fun with some blends. And then I've got Memento ink here. So we're going to do the card first. And then I'm going to show you a matching gift holder that goes with the card, like you can give it as a gift. It's, um, what do you call it, packaging, there you go. Okay, I can speak. Flirty Flamingo, make a wish. Do you not absolutely adore this stamp set? Like, these fonts are the coolest things ever. And I knew, knew, knew that I would have to have this. This is one of those funky font stamp sets that I am in love with. 
And um, I, I think I forgot to say, this is Flirty Flamingo. It's four and a half, or four and a quarter by 11, and I've scored it at five and a half. And I'm just going to start stamping the words just like this, okay? And now I'm gonna come down in here and I'm gonna stamp right in the middle. And then I'm gonna look like I'm going across. And what I'm doing is I'm creating my own designer series paper with these words on it, which is kind of a really cool thing to do. And you guys have seen me do this before, but I thought, oh, this stamp set is the bomb for this, right? Here we go. What do you guys think? Super pretty, right? Oh, I know. <laughs> don't forget to share my video, you guys. You don't, um, that really helps me out and I appreciate it. If you have to leave early, that's fine. I will post this to the Facebook page so that you can watch it later. Okay, now the next thing I'm gonna do, I've got a piece of Whisper White. This is for the inside of the card and it is four by five and a quarter. Okay, four by five and a quarter for the inside. This is just a scrap. I'm gonna close this up now. We're gonna use our Memento ink pad because you always wanna use that ink pad with your Stampin' Blends. And when you stamp this cake, you'll learn this the first time you do it, you need to stamp it upside down and that's how your punch goes in, okay? Just like this. So for this particular card, you're gonna stamp this and punch out three of these. Okay, so one, two, three. Then you're gonna need another one for the little um, gift packaging. For the purposes of this video, I've already got some of that completed, so I'm only gonna show you how I did one set of these, and then you know, you'll know how to do it. This is the um, light crumb cake. And I thought, how fun would it be to have a pink and caramel cake? Because this kind of reminds me of maybe a caramel icing. And here's that squeak. Sometimes that squeak drives people crazy, but I like it. And for some people, it's like chalkboard, nails on a chalkboard, right? But I think it's fun. So sorry if you hate, if you hate it. But I'm just gonna color this in now, if you don't like to color, there are other cakes that have teeny weeny bits of coloring on them, or you can stamp them on some very small printed or light colored designer series paper. Polka dots or um, stripes would work, our designer series papers, so you don't have to color these cakes in, and that's fine. Because that's cute too, right? Then I'm gonna come in with the light flirty flamingo and that's gonna be my frosting. Da, 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 da. And I'm gonna go all the way down these little drips of frosting. The squeak is called progress. <laughs> way to go Sharon, I love your attitude. <laughs> yeah, I like the squeak, I think the squeak is cool. And it does, it makes me feel like I'm accomplishing something. Okay, there's that. Then I'm using Pool Party. I'm using the light and the dark on the platter. I wanted just a little bit, let me move this out of here. I'm gonna change this out for a clean one because I think those that mess that was stamped on there is kind of distracting, isn't it? So here comes the platter. And I'm just going to give it a little bit of shading with the darker of the pool parties, just like this. And I love how these stamp and blend markers can make me an artist because I'm really not um, very good at this type of stuff. But when I use these markers, it looks like I am just a raving artist, don't you think? <laughs> because you can do that shading and it looks so professional and it looks like you've been trained in this and it's pretty cool. <laughs> look at look at the shading on that. I just think it's so, so cool. Okay, next. Enough raving about my shading. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna bring this card in here and I'm going to take my cakes. Now, remember I said you need three cakes. So here comes, this one's the top cake that I just made for you. 
and then I've got two more cakes and I kind of messed up the tops of them so it doesn't matter because we're going to cover them up. But what I want to do first is I want to trim them. Where did my snips go? I want to trim them just a little bit so that they stack nicely. And you can do this or you don't really have to but I'm kind of anal about things so I'm going to do it. So glue, here we go. I'm going to put glue on the top of this little cake. Remember, I have three cakes now. I've got this one, and I'm going to stack this one on top, just like that. Make sure I get it straight. And then I'm going to take this top one where I colored the top and the bottom, and we're going to put some glue right here. And we're going to, whoops, I forgot to cut this one off. Let me cut it just a little bit. And I just got glue on there. There we go. Here comes the third layer of cake, right? How's it looking? Oh, I know, I think it's pretty cool. Then we're gonna take and put some dimensionals on the back, and I need mini dimensionals for this, for the stand. So one will fit right there, and one will fit right there. Whoops. And then we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of here. I've got one, oops, and two right there. The stand is going to go on here. I'm going to add this right over here. Then I'm going to bring in my cakes. And the reason why I put three is because I wanted something just a little bit taller than one cake. So I'm going to kind of slide those underneath my platter a little bit. Look at how cute is that? I love it. Now, the one thing I didn't want to forget is my Wink of Stella. I'm using Wink of Stella on the pink parts of my cake. And while this is hard for you to see in the camera, it's really pretty in real life because those cakes are just sparkling. I hope you can see that in the camera. It's so, so pretty. Okay, so we have a few more little embellishment-y type things to do. One of them is I'm going to bring in my bow jig and I'm going to tie a little bow. Now you can tie a bow regularly. I like to use this thing because my bows turn out perfect every time and I don't have to futz with them too much. I do have a video showing how to use this and if anybody's going to ask me where to get one, you can't get one from me right now because my friend that her husband makes these is in Arizona. She'll be back in March. But if you want to make your own, it's nothing more than a couple nails. This is one inch apart, and then each hole afterwards is a half an inch from that one. And that's how you make yourself a bow jig. So I've got this little cute little bow. And I told you, it turns out perfect every single time. I'm going to put this on with a mini glue dot. And I'm going to add it right down here to my platter. My friend Rachel was over earlier today and I said, I feel like I need a bow on here. And she said, put it on the platter. And I'm like, oh, you're a genius. Okay, then <clears throat> here's my white scrap again. I'm going to bring in the hope. What's it say? Hope this year is a piece of cake. And I'm going to stamp it right here. And then, remember these rectangle framelits? Yeah, we're going to use one of these. And you're like, Kelly, what are you going to do with that? <gasps> Wait till you see this. This one is perfect for greetings. So I am going to die cut this. And I'll be right back. Because I'm really going to die cut it, you guys. So hang tight. I didn't do this one ahead of time. Because I want you to see what's left after I die cut it. Oops, I just messed it up. Hang on. Sorry. Take a drink. And oh, I hope I can get this straight. There we go. It's a lot of pressure. <laughs> here we go. So here's our little piece. These dies are really cool because they leave a stitched edge all around the negative as well as putting it on the positive piece that we're going to use 
for our card. Look at that. So you've got that cute stitched edge all around there, but you could also use this right on the front of your card layer and you're gonna get that cute stitched edge on there too. Michelle Davis, yes, wow, Michelle says, I must get these dies, and yes, you must, because I'm gonna be using them a lot. Um, they're super, super cool. <clears throat> okay, I already have a piece here with some dimensionals on the back because I knew I'd be running long tonight and I wanted to try and get through all of this stuff for you guys. And so I'm just going to take this and tuck it in here a little bit under my cake. Look at, look at how cute that is. And then I decided I could take one of these cutie patootie little sequin flowers and I'm gonna take one of the ones that are kind of pink looking. These are iridescent, so they kind of change colors. And I'm gonna put that right there. Now, you get five different colors in a pack of these. You get um, an iridescent, a yellow, a purple, or this is iridescent too, purple, green, and then the orange flirty flamingo colors. So you get five different ones. Each one of these has circle sequins on it and then flower sequins. So you get both on one sheet. So they're pretty darn cool. And let me see if it tells me how many. There's 250 sequins in a pack of these. Again, in the Occasions mini catalog. So now we've got the front of our card done. I want to show you what I did to the inside. And I'm not gonna take the time to stamp this because it's pretty straightforward. But we've got Hope This Year is a piece of cake. And then Count the Good Times, not the candles. And then I stamped all these candles down here with the cute little candle stamp that comes in this set. So the only thing that isn't in the um, piece of cake stamp set is this greeting set that I used on the background. So what do you guys think of this? I love this. Okay, hang on, because the HP guy is getting in my way again. All right, I know I'm missing lots of questions, you guys. That's really hard to stamp and um, talk to you <laughs> at the same time. So, um, okay, I'm gonna put a few of these things away here so that I can show you the treat holder I have that goes with this. And I can use that right there. Okay, I don't have a lot of work to do for this. Where did my, oh, here they are. I wanted to show you how I cut this out. So I'm gonna be using one of the craft pillow boxes. These are super cool. You get a whole pack of these. I think there's 10 in a pack for $5. So these are only $5, you get 10 of them in a pack. And this is a pillow box is what it is. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of my oval framelits from the layering ovals and I am going to die cut it right out of one end or the other. It doesn't matter which end you use, but you're gonna die cut it out of one end or the other. So I'm gonna bring in my big shot. because I want you to see how I'm doing this. Is, is that in my screen? I hope so. Anyways, I'm running it through the big shot and I'm just gonna die cut this. You don't have to run it backwards, but I need it to come this way because it's gonna get stuck that way. Okay, just pop this right out. Now you can use this for something. This would be kind of cute. Let me move this. We're almost done. Anybody thinks, oh my gosh, I have to go. We're almost finished. Okay, so now what I've done here is I've made a handle, okay? Now I'm gonna pop this up and I'm going to fold in my pillow box, just like this, it's already scored for me, okay? It sticks together just like that. And here we go. Then I decorated it. And I took this ribbon and this ribbon and I wrapped it around my cute little box. Let's find my scissors here. And then I took some of this ribbon and I wrapped this around my cute little box. Hang on a second, I'll show you what I mean. Just like this. Remember, this comes in a pack together. 
I'm going to do this. I'm going to pop this out so it's flat, so it's easier for me to do this right now. So I can get this ribbon nice and snug. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I can get it snug. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to add a piece of tape. Then I'm going to bring in this little piece, and I'm going to layer it over the top. And this is just kind of a, whoops, a cool look to do with two very different size ribbons, right? The width is so very different. And I'm going to put a little piece of tape on that. Make sure that's nice and snug. Come on, there we go. Okay. Then I have an oval here. This is from our stitched, um, stitch, what is it called? Stitch shapes. There we go. <laughs> like, what is that? I use them all the time. I'm going to take this, and we're going to bring in that memento ink, and I'm going to stamp some of these cute little candles way, way, way at the top of my oval. And then I've already colored my cake and my platter, okay? Just like I did earlier. I've got that um, Wink of Stella on there too. So now I'm gonna bring in my cake and I'm just gonna set it here. And then I'm gonna bring in my cute little platter and I'm gonna set this here with a nice big space in between because this is where I'm gonna stamp Happy Birthday. And I just need this to know where I need to line this up at. So now I'm just gonna move this out of the way, stamp my happy birthday, and now I can assemble this. Dimensionals on the back. I'm gonna put my cake so it meets my candles up here. Here comes my cutie patootie little platter. And again, these are colored the same way I did the card. Here's my platter. What do you guys think of this? Isn't this a cute idea? Okay, I would color my candles in here. I would also, I need a bow for this um, gift holder. And so I'm gonna bring in my bow jig and I'm going to use this eighth inch ribbon again and I'm gonna wrap it around here three times. And this makes a triple bow, which is a really cool look. Oops, hang on, I want the, my ends to be a little longer. One, two, three. There we go, that looks good. And one goes under and one comes up over and we tie it in a knot. Now this is where you can move your, move your thing back and forth so you make sure you get it perfect in the middle. And I'm cutting these kind of long. And look at the triple bow. I just think this is so pretty when I do it like this. I kind of pull it apart a little bit. Isn't that neat? Yeah, and all you do is wrap it around more than once. Super, super cute. Okay, mini glue dot. We're gonna stick this to the top. Oh, there's a divot on this side, and if you want to, you can cut this off so that that divot is not here anymore. I'd probably put my oval down just a little bit further because this leaves a really thin line up here. So position your oval down a little bit thinner. So see, I just cut that little divot off of there. Mini glue dot. What time is it? 8.30, so an hour and a half. That's not bad, you guys, right? No biggie. Here comes our cute little bow. <gasps> this is so cute. And now I'm gonna take some dimensionals did you see my big dimension right here? Boy, I sure know how to make a mess, don't I? <laughs> All right, and make sure if you came on after I said this that you leave a comment so I can enter you in the drawings. Um, for your comment, I enter you in a drawing to win product. And also, share my video. Click on that share button. You can do it right now. And... That gets you entered in a drawing also. Okay, so we've got this going on. 
here comes this. And remember, I would color these candles in, and I'll show you the finished one in just a minute and tell you all about it. How cute is this? So here's the one that I made. This was one of the make and takes at our team meeting last in December, or yeah, it was a make and take at our Christmas party in December. And um, you can put a gift card in here with some tissue paper, or if you don't want to give that elaborate of a gift to somebody, this is perfect for a coworker. You can put some gum in here. You can put you know a piece of Ghirardelli candy, but. Isn't this just a spectacular little gift idea? And you've got a matching card here. Super, super cute. Oh, who just said that? Mike, she's, somebody's talking about Mike. Who just said something about Mike? Mike just came in and asked why this came up on his tablet. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. All right, you guys, let me clear some of this stuff out of the way. Remember, if you'd like to place an order with me, I really appreciate your orders. It's what keeps me in business. And you'll find my January host code right here. You get special perks from me when you use this. My blog is right here where you'll find my online ordering button. And I've got some very, very pretty and cute cards here that I shared with you, I think. I think we did pretty good tonight, didn't we? Absolutely love them. Now, if I missed any of your questions, now is the time to ask them again because I am monitoring questions right now. So if you have any questions that I missed, please ask them right now. Or you can private message me. Um, sometimes I go back through all the comments and stuff, but a lot of times I don't have time to do that because there are so, so many um, comments and it is very time consuming. But so send me a private message if you have any questions and let me know what you think of these. I think they're simply adorable. So glad you guys could spend tonight with me. I know a lot of people think that um, have told me that they love Sunday nights now because they get to spend it with me, and I really appreciate that. So thank you so much. Um, if anybody's interested in that discount shopper kit, you have any questions or you just can't find the link on my blog, please just send me a message. I'll be happy to send it to you. Uh, there's a ton of questions and answer answers on there. I think it answers almost all the questions. Remember, a $99 discount shopper kit, you get to choose $175 worth of product. If you want the tote bag, it's $129. You choose $175 of any product you want. You then get to enjoy a 20% discount on your future orders, at least until the end of June. Then you have 30 days to catch up, so it's actually till the end of July. You can be a discount shopper with Stampin' Up! under me, and um, I take good care of my team. You'll love it. There's a whole other world out there for team members. I see there's a lot of my team members on here tonight. So um, I, I, I do um, provide my team with a lot of benefits. Like, I love my team members, so you will be treated very well here. All right, I don't see any questions popping up here. So I will be live again. Oh, um, Karen's asking me what kind of tape did I use on the ribbon? Just, just regular tape. It's just a tape dispenser. It's nothing fancy. You could also use mini glue dots if you wanted to, but I always have a tape dispenser right here. And Becky wants to know the name of the sequins. These are self-adhesive gingham gala, gingham gala self-adhesive back sequins. They're in, their, they're in the Occasions Mini Catalog. And they're so, so cute, right? I absolutely love these. Where did my orange ones go? I don't know. I'll find them. Oh, here they are. Whew. Don't want to lose those. Okay. Um, let me see if there's any more questions. I had over 350 viewers. Thank you, Carol Fox. That's awesome. You guys have a really good week, too. I will be back on here live on the 13th of January, which is next Sunday, 7 p.m. Central Time. Uh, make sure you check out my blog posts. I do I do share them to Facebook on this group. Um, every time I post something on my blog, I do share it here. So 
that's a good way. But you can also go right over to my blog and you so can subscribe to it so that every time I put something on it, it'll end up going into your inbox. And I'm looking for more questions here. Great cards, Debbie. Thank you so much. I so appreciate that. I'm hoping you got your catalogs. I think you asked me for catalogs and I did send them. Karen, thank you so much. You guys are so sweet. Patty just joined. Patty, I'm almost done. So as soon as I get done here, I'll post this to my page and you can watch it from the beginning so you don't miss anything. I have a ton of those frog cards to share with you. You guys are just the sweetest. You know, I absolutely adore my Sunday nights. I actually kind of go through almost withdrawals when I don't get to be live on a Sunday night. So, <laughs> And I do have one of those coming up later in the month, and we'll talk about that maybe next week. See what I'm going to do there. Anyways, thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for clicking that like. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for cheering me on. It's just an amazing feeling to have so many people in your corner rooting for you <laughs> to be successful at what you're doing, right? I so appreciate it. You guys have yourselves a wonderful week, and I'll see you back here on Sunday. Bye-bye.